Alright guys, I'm back and this is my WWE Raw review for the um, 17th of the 2nd, 2013. I thought this last episode of Raw was a pretty good episode of Raw. My favourite match on this show was Cesaro vs Cena. Match of the night. This could potentially go in my awards of match of the year because we've had some good matches so far. Just these two months, like um, last month, Bray White vs. D. Brown was a good match, and this match, Cesaro vs. Cena, was a good match too. So, Raw opens up this week with a segment. Um, Cena comes out, he says that the Unity Chambers is Sunday. Then Zev comes out, Zev says, he's gonna win, uh, Zev says that Cesaro's gonna win the Unity um, Chamber. And he said that it'd be Orton. Um, Cesaro said he'd be Orton. Then, Orton comes out, um, he says that he underestimated Cesaro. Then Sheamus says that um, he's been in two elimination chambers and he's going to win um, his, his third elimination chamber. Then, um, and then D. Bryan comes out and says this promo. And then um, Christian comes out and Kane comes out. He says that tonight, tonight's favorite is going to be Sheamus and Orton. And uh, also it's going to be Cena versus Cesaro. And it's going to be D. Bryan versus uh, Christian right now. So the first match tonight is Christian vs. D. Bryan. Before the match starts, um, uh, Kane strikes D. Bryan, so Christian gets the uh, attack D. Bryan. So it kind of looks like Christian has turned heel. Um, I don't know, like Christian's kind of looks like he's kind of turned heel, which is good. I'm glad that the the Dodi is turning heel. It kind of looks like we're going to have a Sheamus vs. Uh, Christian feud at WrestleMania, which is pretty good because I did like the feud in 2011 that they had. They had some good matches there, so hopefully that W go this way with a Christian and Sheamus for WrestleMania. Um, so yeah, hopefully that they go that route. Uh, so yeah, th uh, the match was pretty good. The, the crowd was really into it. Um, uh, D. Brian hits a, a drop. Um, Christian works on D. Brian's arm. Then uh, D. Brian comes back in the match. It's a round kick on Christian. Then um, D. Brian um, puts him in the. Um, then Christian um, escapes out of the um, yes lock. I think. Then um, D. Brian rolls him up for the win. So pretty good match here. Um, very good um, back and forth. Uh, then um, after the match, Kane attacks D. Bryan and says that um, he's going to face him next. So it's Kane versus D. Bryan, kind of. It's kind of a so the second match was that. It was a sh short match. Kane gets himself DQ'd after um, not after not um, like because uh, D. Bryan was touching the rope, like holding onto the ropes, and Kane wouldn't like 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 like, like stop attacking him and stuff. So yeah. So also this is building up to uh, a D. Bryan and also this is building up to D. Bryan vs. Triple H wrestling which is pretty good. I'm actually I'm enjoying the slow build to this Triple H vs. D. Bryan storyline which I think which I hope that which I think everybody knows that D. Bryan is going to go over at WrestleMania. Then um, then we get a segment Renee Renee interviews the Shield they cut a promo on the wires. Um, the third match tonight was. Uh, it was uh, Fandango versus Santino. Uh, this was the, the typical kind of comedy match here. Um, uh, Santino and Emma trying to kiss each other. Then um, Fandango um, um, like um, drop kicks him and hits him with um, like a um, drop kick slam move. I don't know what it's ca what he's calling it. So yeah, they probably throw this match on the card as a mixed tag match. Whatever. Um, the fourth match of the night is uh, Reigns versus Mark Henry. Before the match, Mark Henry says, S uh, "Mark Henry says somebody's going into the hall. Somebody's getting inducted into the Hall of Pain." That was a good line. I really <laughs> like that. That was a funny line. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, this was a, a pretty good match. Um, uh, Reigns hits a Superman punch and a spear for the win. And then after the match, Dean Ambrose is a little pissed off. So then you know, Mark Henry's outside in the ring. Recoup he's out. Mark Henry's out. Um, then Ambrose attacks Mark Henry, and Reigns is going, "What the fuck are you doing, man?" <laughs> and I like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a big Dean Ambrose fan. He's my favorite show member, and he, I like how he, he gets pissed off at Roman Reigns, or um, he gets pissed off at Roman Reigns, and he just has to attack Mark Henry, saying, "I'm better than you. I'm the better show member. You're not the better show member. I am." I do like that. <laughs> um, then. Um, Oh yeah, then um, the white fan on the screen. Uh, the, the, then Bray says that uh, the rec uh, the uh, day of reckoning has come. Then the white fan will come on the screen. Uh, then white the, the white fan will come down. They have a stare down. Reigns and Bray uh, Bray White had a stare down, and the fans were chanting Roman Reigns again, which is pretty good. And glad that the 
you know, building up Roman Reigns slowly to the main event scene, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, and then after the the Wyatts um, walk away, then we have a segment about stage band. We see Cody and Goldust playing with some WWE action figures. Then Barrett comes over, uh, comes over and says, uh, Barrett comes over and kicks, uh, just kicks it over. And I thought when I was watching that segment, I thought there was going to be a tease of Goldust versus Cody feud at WrestleMania, but I guess not. <coughs> this match tonight was Swagger vs. Kofi. Um, this was um, tip. This is this is a boring match. Um, Swagger is a pay, um, Swagger puts Kofi in the picture up for the win. Uh, sixth match tonight was Big E vs. Um, who do you think? Big E vs. McIntyre Mahal. I forgot what I wrote there. Um, Big E vs. McIntyre Mahal. I thought this was um, a boring match as well. Only interesting uh, part of this match was when Zeb Coulter would, um, was t talking to commentary. Was talk was um, like saying um, think was um, cutting a promo on like um, I didn't like how um, Zeb was dissing um, Big E and stuff. That was pretty good, but this match was boring. Big E hits a um, big ending on McIntyre for the win. Typical kind of squash match. I don't know why he had to face three and B though. That's weird. Uh, then we get uh, then we get a video package for Alexander Rusev, um, the, the guy who was in the Royal Rumble match from NXT. Uh, so yeah, he was debuting soon. Then we get a segment. Renee interviews um, Cena. He says that there's a lot of young WWE talent. He said that there's a lot of young guys in WWE now. He says that they'll have to go through him or something. So the seventh match of the night was Cena versus Cesaro match of the night. If you haven't watched Raw yet, or you're not going to watch Raw this week, just go back and watch Raw just because of this match. Because that was fantastic. Um, just great match. Uh, let's see. I've seen his Hurricane Rana, Cesaro, then Cesaro suplexes him, suplexes him then Cesaro, um, um, then Cesaro counts the AA into this Cesaro swing, which was pretty good. He actually hit the Cesaro swing on Cena. Well, he didn't do it the second time, but the third time he did. But yeah, like I said, I thought that was pretty impressive. And then um, Cena does like this fireman carry into a AA for the win. I thought this was a pretty good match. I thought this was a really good match though. Um, Cena going over, I didn't think that he was going to be, I didn't think that Cesaro was going to be Cena clean. But yeah, I would maybe like to see Cesaro maybe get a, a, like a, like a, you know, like a roll for something for uh, over Cena. But whatever. Then we get a thank my stage. Um, Owen thanks Triple H for all the things he, uh, for for all the things that the Authority have done, um, for, for him uh, over the last couple of months. Then he says that him and Triple H go way back, and he says that Orton and uh, Triple H, they you know, they they, they was uh, they carried Batista's ass in Evolution. Then Batista just behind him, uh, it's just behind Orton just listening to all this. I found this pretty entertaining. Then, um, then Del Rio comes up in a neck brace, and he then then Batista pushes him into the, um to this um wall thing. I don't know what it was. Uh, so then um then Triple H and Batista have to stare down. So I hope this is a feud between Triple H and Batista. I don't want to see another Triple H Batista feud. Please do not. I don't want to see another um, Batista Triple H feud. Please, no, no, no. <coughs> Then the eighth match now was the sixth man tag match was Los Matadores and Sincara versus the White Family. Um, this was a decent match. Um, Luke Harper is a um, discus clothesline, and uh, then Bray White has a sister Abigail. Has a sister Abigail for the win. Ninth match tonight was Jay Uso versus Billy Gunn, Jimmy and Road Dog on commentary. Um, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy and Road Dog going back and forth on commentary. Um, Jay Uso, Jay Uso rolls up. Uh, Billy for the win after the match. Um, the Usos hits a, uh, hits a uh, crossbody. Um, one of the Usos, um, I think, was it Jimmy or Jay? They hit a super kick on Road Dog. So, yeah, and then the announcement is going to be the New Age of the Usos uh, at Elimination Chamber. The 10th match of the night is the sh was Seamus vs. Orton. This was the. Um <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about this, guys. Um, this was a pretty good match. I didn't think this. I think this was a pretty good. I didn't think it was that good. Um, Randy Orton hits a DDT off the ropes and Shields closes his chest. Then Shields tries to go for the broke cake. Then Shield in a few. Then 
Then um, Cena, then D. Bryan and Cena and Cesaro come down to fight off the Shield. Then the Christian comes down, and then the White Family come down. So we have a White Family and Shield brawl, which I thought was pretty good. Then we had the Illusion Chamber guys uh, brawl, which I thought was pretty good. So I, I didn't like this Orton's um, Sheamus match at the end, but the, the the end bit of brawl was real good because they because um, you know each guy got the kind of bit in. I mean the I mean. You know, WWE team uh, got the they built up the Elimination Chamber match one last time, and they built up the White Family versus Shield match one last time, which I thought was pretty good. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, everybody brawling with each other, getting their angles in and stuff. I thought that was pretty good. So yeah, that's my WWE. So that was my WWE Raw review for the 17th of the second 2014. What do you guys think about this show? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching, guys. Right out.